Treasure Solve for Mac X will be excited for learning. So today we are going to project Treasure Hunt. So let's get started. First I'll show you guys my project. So here. It starts like this. Um now when you click and then you press correct answer. So this is a scrambled word, we have to unscramble it. And this is the hint. So when you are done, you have to check it. Then it accepts both lowercase and uppercase words. So I'll write in uppercase now. Database. Check. Function. Check. And then when you get three points. So every time you do the right answer, you can see that the score is getting increased. Yeah, so when you get three scroll, then it will show a picture of the treasure and it will say treasure unlocked. So now, um, let's go into the code. Before then, let's see what are the specific tasks to complete this project. First, um, we have to make, for, for the first button, um, when you open this project, the first buttons, you know, these clues and um, the checkbox, the input box both are given but um and for the second one only this um box like the input box and the button is given we have to write for the second uh, uh, second question the scrambled word and the hint and for the third one we have to make the input box the button and the hint and the scrambled word so now first um in code.js okay so in function clues so code.js function clues Okay, so you can see here, um, first they have made this one, now we have to do for the rest of them. Um, so fill white, text size um, 15 and cute, uh, fit, fun, uh, you know the scrambled word, you'll find it over here. Function scrambled word and database scrambled word. Okay, and the hints if you want, I'll show you. Then you can see, um, you go to the story of the, then you see here, is a video of this action. When you click on it, you'll see the video appear. It's not a YouTube video. And when you press this, you can see always changing, or not constant. Here, performs a particular task, stores all of information. I took the clues from here, because they gave a video. Okay, now, so that's where you get the hints from. Now, next specific task is it's loading. It's taking time. So, here it is. Now, let's go to the next one. So, this is very simple. The does this function you have to copy paste this exactly and then what i did um fill is white as always text size is 15 text you have to change it and fill white blue light blue for the hint and performs a particular task so uh, only these two we had to change nothing else for this as well so if you want to see you could see so it is for the database hint is stores all information and for the function it performs a particular task okay now next specific task is that write a code to what happens when the third check button is pressed okay so when the third check button is pressed which is in security.js over here so we have to make the buttons first of all to do what happens so for the third button access 3 equals to input code 1 okay so in in this so in this what you want so when you see the input box over here you see code 1 is written right so you could change that to anything so that's blah so you'll see it's it's see blah you have to backspace that and so um, it was written as code 1 and I didn't change it. 
because I copy pasted, uh, copy pa copied it and pasted it over here. Control C and V, and uh, then changed it like uh, button instead of access two, access three, and button three. And you know you have to change the position a little. So make sure the uh, position of the button and the text corresponds because um, if a button is over here and the text is over here, it doesn't match, right? So make sure it happens perfectly. Now in display, um, button two also was already done. Now button three. If this dot button three dot mouse pressed, then um, so it's not if. So this dot button three dot mouse pressed, then what should happen? If system dot authenticate access three and this dot access three value, then this button three dot hide this dot button access three dot hide score plus plus. Now, what is this authenticate function? Now, um, it says system dot authenticate, which means that this function is inside the system class. Here, you can see authenticate. This is a function. Actual code, comma entered code. Text size 50, fill black, text code. Now, we want um, the so um, this is the actual thing that uh, so text size 50 fill black text code comma 300 comma 300 now this is the main part this is what we should do as well in the specific task if actual code equals to equals to equals to enter the code dot to uppercase return true else return false it's very simple now what is um, so you can see over here there are two parameters actual code and entered code the first value you keep it is considered as the actual code so let's take the um, let's take button 3 as the example now in this the first value is access code 3 which means access code 3 is the actual code so we are saying that access code 3 is the actual code we are replacing it because this is the first parameter next this dot access three dot value. This is the entered code. This dot access three dot value. Now this dot access three is the input box. You can see over here. This dot access three is the input box in which we are entering the answer. Now suppose I write high in this. Now what will be the value of um, access? So if you ask me, this dot access three dot value the answer will be high because whatever is written in the input box is called its value now we are checking two things over here you can see actual code comma entered code if actual code three equals to um this is for checking um if this and this is right or if that that like suppose if two and three are equal or if a value is equal inside that value you know it's for checking so suppose actual code has a value of 2 inside it and entered code has 3. It's just an example. So then we're checking between it. Now, if actual code, which is um, access code 3. And what is this access code 3? Over here, access code 3 is a constant. It's not a variable, it's a constant. When you write C-O-N-S-T, it's called a constant, which cannot be changed. Now yeah so access code 3 equals to database so what is the value inside access code 3 it has the unscrambled word which is database it is the right spelling of that word okay so now what apparently is happening is that first instead of we are replacing actual code by access code 3 and what does access code 3 have database so we are checking that database equals to now what is entered code this dot access three dot value because we are having that this value in the um, parameter of entered entered code now what is um, the value of here access three the input box for third one it's high so now we are checking if database cap capital database equals to high okay so if it is high then return true 
if it's not equal to so if um, what is equal to database cap capital database so the it's an uppercase right so the database and hi if they are equal they are not equal right so if they are they are equal then return true and they are not so it's return false now what will happen in return to, to true sorry so uh, and this is also a part that you need to it's very important so i'll uh, tell you later in this video but when you um when it is the same so if enter code equals to the actual code then return true when return true happens it goes to the function where was it used in this one right it was used over here then it is return true so it will go inside if it is return false it will not go only so it will not go inside nothing will happen so you can see um, now suppose I had a check see nothing is happening because it is return false because high equals to not it's not equal to database that's the reason it's not even going inside this um, what will happen okay but if it is return true then what will happen this dot button three a button button three dot hide this dot access three dot hide then score plus plus score plus plus means previous score plus one okay um you could also write score equals to score plus one but this is a shorter form okay so that's the same thing that happens for all of them yeah and one more thing is that two uppercase now let's just see we remove this two uppercase function kind of thingy this i inbuilt one okay now i write over here yeah it needs to be okay. variable now it is in small nothing is happening why because over here what actual code which is access code 3 this has access code i mean access code 1 has a capital variable not a small one and i wrote small variable so it's saying that no see the small variable and capital variable is not the same so it will it's showing return false which means it's not going inside so whenever you press the check button nothing is happening okay so that's the reason we add this small um, code to uppercase it's a function it's an input function so to uppercase which means that if you write in the entered code entered code dot to uppercase means that if entered code is in lower case then it will be changed into uppercase now so if um, you write c over here the computer will automatically turn it to it will turn this to so into C the cap oh shit <laughs> capital C okay so it will automatically turn it even though you keep capital C I mean even though you keep it capital C it will still turn it to capital C it doesn't need to do anything it just you know turns it doesn't matter if you keep capital or small it will turn it to so entered code dot uppercase so whatever is there this dot access three dot value will be automatically turned into uppercase okay this was for um till here so we have we are done with this one what happens when the third check button is pressed first and second buttons um so now if ali get all um answers right now also yeah mm, where is that return true return false okay so if ali gets all three answers right authenticate the answers in system.js yeah that is what we just did in system.js actual code you know that one and load the treasure image background and display if all answers are correct you know check the hints so this was the code now let's go into sketch.js here yeah. if score equals to equals to equals to three so three equals to so now we are again checking score if score has three so if score is one then if one equals to three which is not so then it won't go inside this now this um 
now when you get all these right then the score will be 3 right because when you when each one you do the score will be increased so variable now it will be right because i ch i added that code dot to uppercase right that's it is database check function check now you can see score will be 3 so directly happens so now score equals to equals to 3 then clear now background bg2 so we have to load this background bg2 bg2 equals to load image treasure.jpg um, it is over here yeah so we have to load that image and then first the background was bg what is bg the aladdin cave image you know cave image that was seen you can e either keep that or two also you can keep i'll just show you the two so yeah you can keep either of them and first first it is bg which is um first cave image you know aladdin cave image next when the score is three then bg2 which means it's a treasure image fill black the text is black so uh, you'll see that treasure unlocked that will be now see i kept first letter as a uh, capital and suppose I write B also capital, it doesn't matter. It will show it right because all are converted into capital. Now you can see over here, treasure unlocked. unlocked. This is in black color and text size 40 and treasure unlocked 250, 200. So that was it, then draw sprites. And over here, you have to, um, you know, load these security question music or security. These two, you need to load them because they have specific functions to do. So this one, this one. But this just has values in it and there's just text in it. So it doesn't really need, a, you know, making a new item, like a variable and that. Okay, so that was it. The project is really easy if you know the concept. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Please, please subscribe. And please, free to, uh, please be free to comment any doubts, queries or if you want me to make any videos. And mention whether which project number is it so that I know whether I, ha I got it till now or no. Okay, thank you so much. Bye. Share it with your friends.